Hi guys, Tech James here. In this video, I will show you guys how to install D2X CIOS on your Nintendo Wii. So in this video, I will just be showing you how to do it on the original Wii, not the Wii U. So if you do plan on installing this on your Wii U's virtual Wii, um, just don't watch this tutorial. So yeah, the first thing you need to do is just disconnect your SD card from your Wii, plug it into your PC, and I will show you guys what to do next. Right guys, so over on your computer, I will leave a link to this website in the description and this is where you can get all the files for CIOS. So all you want to do is scroll down and you're looking for the guide part here. So this does work on Wii U as well. I will just be showing it for the normal Wii in this video, um, just because the Wii U, uh, the virtual Wii, actually has some different steps. So if you're just using the original Wii like me, just click on the blue download tab right here, and that will begin downloading the zip file you need. So there is actually um, a written guide if you'd rather follow that, but I will be showing you exactly what to do in this video anyway. So head over to your downloads folder once you've got the zip file, and you just want to drag and drop it onto your Wii's SD card. Now once it's on there, um, just go inside of the folder and just drag out the apps folder. So that is it, you can now select the zip file and delete it because you no longer need it. And just go inside the apps folder and just check that the CIOS installer is in here. So that is literally it for your computer. You can now disconnect your SD card, put it back into your Wii and I will show you guys what to do next. Okay, guys, so once you're on your Wii, we want to open up the Homebrew channel. So just find it on your home screen and then start it up. Now, I would recommend your Wii being connected to the internet. So make sure it is connected to the internet in settings. Also, make sure you're not using a Wii controller with the Wii Motion Plus built in. So once you've got those things, just press A on the installer. Go to load and just press A to load it. On this screen, just press A to continue. Now this is where we need to set up the installation. So you guys can see at the side there is that small white arrow and that is basically our cursor. We can go up and down with the Wii Remote and these are the settings that we need to configure. So the first thing that we need to change, we need to change this to V10 Beta 3. So just go right on your D-pad and it's this one right here. Uh, version 10 Beta 53 a D2X version 10 beta 53. Oh, exactly that one. Now on the next one, you want to change this up to 56, just like that. On this one here, you want to change it to 249. So just leave it as it is. And in this one here, you leave that as it is as well. And now you just press the A button. Now you just press A again to install it. And now you just wait for it to download the iOS and install it. Right, so once you're on this screen, you just press A to continue. And now we need to install the second one. So go back up to the top. Make sure this time it's on beta 52. So just scroll along and it should look exactly like that. For the second option, make sure you scroll up to 57. Now for the CIOS slot, make sure you put this on 50. It should go purple. If it doesn't, don't worry too much. And then for the CIOS revision, this needs to be on this one right here, 65535. Now once you've got it on this exactly, just press A to install. Now just press A again. Now it will go onto this screen and you just need to press A again. Now once you're on this screen, you just need to press B on your remote, which is for exit. And now it will bring you back to the homebrew channel. So that is it guys, that is how you install the D2IOX um, custom firmware on your Wii. It's actually more easy than you think. And now you can launch emulators and you know play backup games off USB drives and all that kind of stuff without having any issues. So if you guys enjoyed this video, make sure to like and subscribe and I will see you guys in the next one.